buying a new TV can be a daunting experience. We've got wall upon wall of the plasmas, the uh, LEDs, the LCDs, the 3D TVs. But which one is best for you? Stephen Finnick takes us through the options and reveals his tips on getting the best price. OK, so you need a new TV. But you don't know where to start. The first thing to do is to decide what type of TV is best for you. Let's start with plasma. A plasma is made up of thousands of cells filled with phosphorus gas. The main advantage of plasma is that it offers natural and accurate colour reproduction and great contrast with deep blacks and bright whites. Plasma is also great for watching sports and action films, as the technology allows for virtually no motion blur. Plasma only come in sizes 42 inches and above, so if you're looking for that big screen experience, this could be the one for you. On the downside, plasma uses more power than other TVs and aren't as thin as some other models. The LCD is short for liquid crystal display and is the most widely produced type of TV on the market. LCDs offer excellent picture quality and are available in a whole range of sizes from small PC monitors all the way up to home theatre size displays. Earlier models of LCD TVs suffered motion blur problems, but that issue has since been addressed. Today, LCD TVs are the most popular flat screen TV category. The newest type of TV on the market is LED, which uses an edge lighting system to more accurately lighten and darken parts of the screen for improved quality and contrast. Maybe it's your department. Mine is catching her so we can find out. You got me. Another advantage is that the panel is a lot thinner and lighter, making it easier to mount on the wall. Another plus is that they are the most energy efficient on the market. But on the downside, they are generally more expensive than LCD and plasma. We're getting thrown away! No, no one's getting thrown away! 3D movies have been a hit in cinemas, and now we can enjoy them in our own home. 3D TVs are available in LCD, LED and plasma, but expect to pay about 20 to 30% more. To watch 3D programming, you need to wear these battery-operated glasses. Now, there's one or two pairs in the box, but you'll need to buy extras at up to $200 a pair for the rest of the family. One thing to note, 3D glasses from one TV won't work with a 3D TV from a different manufacturer. Something to keep in mind if you're heading around to your mate's house with your glasses to watch the footy in 3D. It's important to choose a TV that's not only right for your needs, but also right for your budget. Here are my tips to help you save a few dollars. Do your homework. Read some reviews before coming into the store, as staff may steer you towards a TV they have the most stock of, or which sees them gain the most margin. The newest models will always be the most expensive, so the model which has just been superseded may be hundreds of dollars cheaper. You may be able to negotiate a better price by offering to pay cash. Shop around and compare prices, but most importantly, don't be afraid to play the stores off against each other to win your business. Hey, great, uh, great information there from Stephen Fennick about TVs.